In this video, we are going to learn about discrete random variables. First, let's figure out what this term random variables means. A random variable is a type of variable whose value has to be a number and it has to be due to chance. The word random has to do with the fact that the variable has to be due to chance. It can't be completely predictable. It can change in a random way. So let's think about some examples of random variables. One example would be the number of wins that a baseball team has in a given season. This is a random variable because the number of wins will change from season to season and the number of wins is based on chance. Also, the number of wins will always be a number, so it satisfies both of our two conditions. Another example of a random variable would be the height of a student. This is a random variable because the height of a student will always be a number and the height is sort of random due to chance. A third example would be the number of people who are at a concert. The number of people at a concert will change from concert to concert and the number of people is due to chance. Finally, another example would be the time it takes to run a mile. These are just some examples of random variables, and of course there are many more that we could think of. Now that we have an idea of what a random variable is, we're going to start to think about the word discrete and how that affects a random variable. So what does it mean for a random variable to be discrete? Well, it adds one more restriction. To be a discrete random variable, the values of the variable have to be within a certain range and there has to be only a finite number of possible values. So you should be able to list out all the possible values for that variable. So if we look at our examples, we can identify which of our examples are discrete. The first one was the number of wins in a season from a baseball team or some other sports team. This would be an example of a discrete random variable because there's only a finite number of values that the number of wins could be. You could win zero times and you could win up to the number of games that there were, but you could list out all the different possible wins. So this would be an example of a discrete random variable. Now what about the height of a student? This isn't a discrete random variable because there are an infinite number of possible heights. Because even just between five feet and six feet, there are an infinite number of numbers between those two amounts. So that would not be a discrete random variable. You couldn't list out all the different possible heights of a student. Unless you wanted to think about rounded to the nearest inch or something like that. But in general, I would say that would not be a discrete random variable. What about the number of people at a concert? That also is a discrete random variable because it takes on, there's only a finite number of people that there could be. And there can't be half people. So there's either zero people, one people, two people, all the way up to the max number of people that could attend the concert if it was sold out. But you could list out all those possible values so it's a discrete random variable. And finally, the time to run a mile, that would not be discrete because just like the height of a student, there are an infinite number of times, even between zero minutes and 20 minutes, there are an infinite number of times if you think about seconds and milliseconds and so on, time is a continuous value, so it's not a discrete random variable. So that's the idea of discrete random variables. The key thing is the values have to be numbers, they have to be due to chance and some sort of randomness. And to be discrete, there has to be only a finite number of values that the variable could take on. 
so that you should be able to list out all the possible values that it could have.